though I'm going to try to make this quick, which is going to be unusual for me. Because when do I ever make a quick video? The answer is that I don't. So hey guys, it's Noah. I am outside. And I go by Noah now. Okay, I'm going to try to minimally edit this video. Because, oh my god, don't go near my camera. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done. There's a change of scenery, I'm outside. So after that very long introduction, though, I will probably cut down to the funniest bits. Um, I'm going to do the gender tag video. Bugs. Yeah, bugs. Bugs are a thing when you go outside. I don't like it. It's a mess, it's a mess, it's a mess. Alright, so, gender tag. We're gonna start it now. First question, how do you self-identify your gender and what does that definition mean to you? Um, I self-identify as transmasculine. So it means that I, to me, it means that I don't identify with, like, the gender specifically. Like, I don't identify, I don't identify with female or male. I'm more of, like, I identify within masculinity. Uh, two, what pronoun, what, this is a mess. Two, what pronouns honor you? I love the wording of this question. It's great. I primarily go by he, him pronouns. Uh, but some people do use they, them with me, which is fine. I don't really mind. Three, describe your style of clothing that you most often wear. I most often wear... Uh, clothing from the men's department, technically. I don't believe in, like, clothing having genders, but, like, that's where the majority of my clothes come from. Uh, mostly wear t-shirts like this one, like, with a pocket. I love little t-shirts with pockets. I wear a lot of button-up shirts. Um, my shorts are always, like, down to the knee. My shoes, oh my god. These are my shoes. I'm about to try to take them off, but I can't. These are my shoes. They're like, I don't know what they're called, but I love these shoes. Like, I love them. Like, it is a problem how much I love these shoes. I wear a lot of snapbacks. I, I say I wear a lot of snapbacks. I only have three. Yeah, I have three. They're all in my car, too. Uh, four, talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or not choose to shave? Um, so body hair wise, uh, with my legs, I don't shave them anymore. I kind of had like an on off period where like I shaved them in the summer. My hand is shaking so bad. Where I shaved them in the summer of like my junior year of high school, so that was like three years ago and then I wouldn't in the fall months and like the winter months I wouldn't and then I went like that for a while but like it was an adjustment and then I think I stopped last fall I stopped completely and then I felt awkward because I had to wear shorts again and I wasn't used to other people seeing me like that so I'd shave them and then I immediately regretted it and then I so that was like last October so I've been, uh, I haven't shaved my legs since then, I believe. Uh, armpit hair. Me and armpit hair have a weird, weird thing. Sometimes I'm like, I'm all about it, like, whatever, I don't care. And then other times I'm like, no, no, you gotta go. So, like, I'm always really back and forth about it. So I alternate between whether I shave or not. Right now I'm trying not to and trying to see if I'm all good with it. But, uh, we'll see. It's an adjustment. I'm trying to think of, oh, facial hair. Facial hair is a thing. Like, I have hair here, like most people do. Um, but I got, like, laser treatment. I don't even know what it's called. A couple of years ago, because my mom, like, made an appointment for me. So, I got that done. And then I got it done again, like, almost seven months ago. But it doesn't work, like, my hair is still very much coming in. Like, it's supposed to work, but sometimes it doesn't, and, like, it really doesn't for me. I also have, like, a few, like, chin hairs that come in. 
like really thick ones that are like, where did you come from? And they're like really dark and really thick and those are like a mess and a half. They're not fun, I don't like them. Just cause it's only like one and it's like weird, it's weird. We'll leave it at that. Five, talk about cosmetics. Do you choose to wear makeup? Do you paint your nails? What kind of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? Uh, cosmetics, I really don't use or wear makeup or paint my nails. I used to paint my nails when I was trying to fit in in like early high school, but I haven't since then. Um, do I wear makeup? I don't wear makeup. Uh, I really never did. There was a couple of occasions where people like did my makeup because it was like a special occasion and that was whatever. It happened. It was a thing. I'm sorry if there's like construction noise. There's construction going on. Hey, don't use any cologne. I want to get a cologne though, but I have trouble committing to like actually going out and finding a cologne and like, yeah. We'll leave it at that. And soaps, I use the, what is it, it's Dove Men or something like that? I don't even know. I either use like a Dove Bar because I have really sensitive skin. Like I have eczema too. My eczema is breaking out. Like nobody's friggin' business. Six, have you ever, have, the, have you experienced being misgendered? How, if so, how often? Yes. And every day. Um, I came out to my mom like four four-ish months ago she lives down the shore primarily for the summer because her house is under renovation uh, so I'm here because I'm working and I was taking classes I was taking like summer classes um, my mom is here she always shortens my birth name which she never really did when I before um, but she has been doing like all the time since I came out and like my mom still refers to me as like her daughter and like she and things like that and so does my stepdad and I'm living with my stepdad's mom she doesn't know so she obviously doesn't know any better I'm not telling her my little brother does because uh yeah I get misgendered at work my managers and supervisors don't know because I didn't tell anyone which like that's totally like my bad like that's on me like I know that but I'm not about to like change it because like it's just a summer job like I started in late June I have to give my two weeks notice in like a week and a half so I'll be done in three weeks so at this point I'm like there's no point in me going up to you and being like hey so this is a thing and they'll be like, why didn't you tell us before? Because all of my managers and supervisors are like between the ages of 20 and like 30. And they're really accepting and like they wouldn't have a problem with it at all. But like I don't, at this point, like I feel awkward bringing it up. Because it's just like, why didn't you say something before? So they call me by my birth name, which is whatever, like ever. I hear it everywhere and it sucks. It does. But like and I've dissociated from it like entirely like just yesterday my supervisor oh my god I feel so bad she was calling my name because she told me to, she told me I was good to go and then she changed her mind because she needed help with something so she called my name like five times and I didn't hear her and I kept walking and then she called it one more time and I was like oh shit she's talking to me oh my god and I turned around I was like yeah yeah sorry so I almost want to go and tell her because I love her. She's so sweet. And I just, oh, I feel bad. Like, that's how bad the dissociation from my birth name is. I'm just like, it's like so far gone. It's just like, you're just calling a name. Like, I don't realize that you're talking to me. It's, it's, it's interesting. And do you experience dysphoria? How does that affect you? Yes, I do experience dysphoria. Um how does it affect me it affects my confidence like I've become really self-aware the past couple of months and I realize like how much it takes a toll on me socially like and how it's taken on a toll on me socially for like years now like ever since like I hit puberty like I used to be that really talkative kid that you could never get to shut up and then 
all of a sudden like I hit like middle school and I like stopped talking and I just stopped socializing and a lot of it was because of my dysphoria. I have like a lot of voice dysphoria so like it's difficult for me and like I see it at work sometimes where I'm like having a particularly off day and like someone just called me she or something and I'll be like well shit right and then like I'll just like kind of like retract into my little bubble and I won't like call someone out on for like doing something they shouldn't be doing or something of that matter eight talk about children are you interested in having children would you carry a child if that were an option for you and do you want to be the primary caretaker for any children you may have I want kids I love children like I love tiny humans I want so many tiny humans okay not so many if um hold on I'm gonna answer the rest of the question first would you carry a child no because I think that would be very uncomfortable for me. Uh, yes, I am interested in having tiny humans. Yes, I want many tiny humans. Um, I'm that person where like, if need be, like I will totally willingly be a single parent. I would probably only have one, maybe two by myself. Um, if I do have a partner, like I would want probably more, like three or four. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll say we'll stick with that number for now. That happened once. No, I just spilled coffee on myself. Did it get on my shirt? Oh, thank Jesus. This is a new shirt. Um, if I got coffee on it, I would probably flip a fucking shit.